So we saw the release of GitHub Copilot in October 2021 and whole dev community went crazy. Some were claiming that we would soon be left out of our job and some like me thought yes it is just an interesting tool but it is far from a replacement. It could provide a better autocomplete yes but it is not able to build a whole app for you so we are safe or so we thought. A few weeks ago ChatGPT was released and the whole dev community went crazy again but are they right this time? So I tried ChatGPT and asked it to build an app for me, a to-do app. So let's find out how I did this and are we finally met a replacement? So I went to ChatGPT and made a request and the request was, can you give me the code to create a to-do app that allows me to edit the items and store them in a database? Please use React for the front end and Next.js for the back end. That was my initial prompt and the keys what I asked was that a to-do app, ability to edit items, store data in database and use React and Next.js. So here's here is the result what I got from the chat GPT. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. But yes, I got a to-do app using React and Next.js. But it was not using database. In fact, it is using memory usage and it is not letting me edit the items too. So let's ask again, can you modify that code to add support for a cloud database. Okay, now I just referenced that code and added cloud database support. Because a human can easily understand this, but AI needs to keep a reference to the current conversation and remember that what we are talking about. And that is the result what I got from ChatGPT. Okay, so it picked Firebase for me as a cloud storage and it even wrote a placeholder to write my credentials into it. So does this code work? So far, I'm pretty impressed with the result. I was not really expecting that level of detail from an AI, but when it came to the testing the code, I found some issues with that. Yes, there were some issues. So issue one was, it was missing an input. Silly mistake, I know. We humans make them all the time, but, but the code was missing the import of use effect hook. Issue number two, it never specified the version of Firebase NPM package to use in the code. Maybe that was my fault, but a simple NPM install Firebase yielded a version that is not compatible with the code. So I asked the bot, what version of the Firebase NPM package should I use for that example? And I got an interesting answer. I mean, kudos to the bot. It was able to understand the context of my question and provided me a valid answer. The code was indeed compatible with the Firebase. So I was able to try it. But the current version of Firebase is 9, not 7. That is a problem. With those problems solved, I was able to test the app. Oh yes, I'm still missing the edit button, which is something I asked to the chat GPT. It is because not all the tutorials cover that part of the app. They only show us adding and removing items. So what's wrong here? The shortcoming of chat GPT. Don't get me wrong, but chat GPT is freaking awesome. Coupled with Dale 2 and Mid Journey, this is the most interesting and advanced piece of AI I ever used. But it's not going to replace developers. Why? Because of the two problems I mentioned. If you haven't picked up yet, the bot is simply spitting out a content that is already used to train that AI. So instead of that, if ChatGPT is able to create code itself, that would be flawless. It's simply showing me that what other authors written. Not only that, it is also showing me outdated version of code with errors, obviously. That's because ChatGPT is not able to validate the answers. Instead, it's a guessing with high success rate actually and giving me something that solves my problems. In other words, the current state of ChatGPT is ChatGPT will only be useful as long as the content used to train it is verified and kept updated by someone else. So what are the implications for us developers with ChatGPT around? So we are simply looking at a tool that might come in handy for our daily work. How? Right now when you have a problem, you type it on Google and 8 out of 10 times you land on Stack Overflow. Now you will be able to put questions directly on ChatGPT and most likely you will get the most ranked result from SO or high ranking article. So should you blindly trust on ChatGPT's answer? No, you still have to use your brain. Sorry, not sorry. But it will give you a quick head start. In other words, the only thing ChatGPT can do is faster Google search. Which, don't get me wrong, with the number of times we perform Google searches every day, it will most unlikely come handy. That said, 
it is also true that ChatGPT will give you a single answer, which is according to the algorithm, is the best one for you. But what about the rest? But what about your own preferences? ChatGPT will hide all the other options, effectively boosting the few it considers the valid for the user. How good is that for content creators and people looking for answers and alternatives? That's for you to decide.